A small omission creates a greater Greenhouse gases. We are taught what they are and where they come from in our schools for years. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbons should not be unfamiliar gases to any student in a biology class. The emissions come from everyday items that we rely on in our daily lives. Cars, buses, refrigerators, and any form of electricity. These gases absorb infrared radiation and trap heat in the atmosphere, which ultimately heats the Earth and causes global warming. Other than land, the Earth also holds water. A lot of water. Nearly 71% of the entire planet is covered in water. So when we say that Earth is under global warming, so are our lakes, rivers, and of course, as we're seeing right now, oceans. Oceans face their own dangers as more emissions are created. In fact, ocean waters, ocean animals, and ocean ecosystems are absorbing the 35% increase in carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. As the ocean heats, the ice caps begin to melt, thus the water levels rise and rise until they flood out our homes, our businesses, our stores, our schools, and our ecosystems. If we do not respect and protect the millions of lives living underneath the Earth's land, the ecosystems will die and the people on top will eventually feel the impact they have been forcing down upon the ocean. To prevent this, there are people out there dedicating their lives to make a difference and save all of us from impending doom. Take it from a fellow member of the sea. Fish stick. Many aquatic animals are losing their homes as countless corals are becoming bleached by the powerful greenhouse gases. My people have also lost their places for breeding. And less fish means less food for the humans. The sea turtle population is at risk of extinction, but the temperatures of the sand are rising exponentially. The problem with the sand becoming too hot is that it can lead to less male sea turtles and more female sea turtles, because the temperature determines the sex of the creatures. Without sea turtles, an overabundance of prey like jellyfish will rise, and less predators like great white sharks in which they will die off as well. Humankind relies on the ocean for food, clean oxygen, transportation, and many other natural resources. However, my people and I are finding it very hard to rely back onto the humans for protection of our ecosystems. To stop global warming, use renewable energy like solar and wind power. Reduce the waste of water and electricity. Buy local foods and reduce food waste by saving unfinished meals. Minimize the use of cars and the purchase of products. And use your voice! Or do something like this. The fishies may seem distant, somewhere out of reach. But we must do our great part if we wanna save our beach. Reduce energy, save food, and stop up for gases so the fishies can run.